Here we will explore true facts about the duck. This is a video of a baby duck. Do we have any facts? Or... They are yellow. Oh, geez, this one's going to suck. Duck is a common name for a wide variety of waterfowl that are related to the goose and the swan. Look at these ducks. They are dabbling ducks that feed close to the surface. They have all sorts of specialized bills that let them strain the water. Some even have actual strainers. Look at this merganser. It has a pointy beak that helps it dive to catch fish. Look at this Argentine ruddy duck. It has a nine-inch corkscrew penis. What is that a joke? That's the kind of humor. Holy crap, what the hell? <laughs> Only 3% of birds have penises, and the duck is part of that 3%. To understand a corkscrew penis, imagine a penis shaped like a corkscrew. How does that help explain this? In fact, the corkscrew penis is only one half of a bizarre case of sexual coevolution. The other half is a female's corkscrew vagina, which incredibly corkscrews in the opposite direction, making mutual corkscrewing rather difficult. To understand this, imagine a vagina in the shape of a corkscrew in the opposite... What? You're asking them to imagine exactly what I just said. That doesn't help. You have to use a metaphor. All right, I'll redo it. To understand this, imagine a metaphor. You can't just use the word metaphor. That's not... Uh, just show them. What you are looking at here are the weapons of a kind of sexual warfare. Male ducks are notoriously aggressive and will often force themselves on females violently, sometimes even killing them. One scientist, C.W. Molliker, even documented a case of homosexual necrophilia, pretty much unique in the bird world. Because it is an advantage not to have babies with a duck you know nothing about and who is quite frankly an asshole, the female duck has evolved a vagina that makes forcible entry nearly impossible. They even have fake pouches and dead ends in their corkscrew. Males, on the other hand, have had to evolve to try and keep up. They have what is safe to say an explosive penis. Told you. Researcher Patricia Brennan has catalogued how this crazy organ will try and make its way through almost any shape. In some cases, the duck penis even has barbs on it to scrub away competing sperm. Not only that, but it withers and falls off after each mating season. And when it grows back, it grows back in proportion to how many rivals it has. The more rivals, the longer the penis. Yes, beneath this cute exterior, an evolutionary war rages on. To understand it, imagine yourself naked in a bathtub full of raw hot dogs. Really? That's your metaphor? All right, good try. We can work on it.